All right, today we're going to take a look at the Whitney Bender over in the Tyler Metal Shop. This is going to allow you to make uh, metal frames, uh, simple square frames with angle iron. Um, you've got a shear, a notcher, and a bender on the machine. You're going to want to make sure that you go and grab the extension arm too. And this uh, information on the front of the panel is super helpful at uh, allowing you to lay out frames properly. So you're going to want to take a look at that. Um, and I'm going to go over basics of that information in this video as well. So first thing you're, you're going to want to do is go grab a piece of angle iron, determine what the dimensions of your frame is going to be. Um, the layout of the frame is going to be uh, determined, um, the layout lines on your frame is going to be determined by the uh, dimensions uh, here. So if you lay out what I did here, 12 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches, and then 6 inches, on either end, then you're going to wind up with a 12 inch square frame on the inside dimensions, and then the wall thickness itself is going to wind up uh, being added to the outside of your frame. So the wall thickness, in this case it's eighth inch angle iron, is going to be added to the outside of that frame, and that's going to wind up giving you a frame that uh, is an eighth inch all around bigger, so you times that eighth inch by two, and then you're going to wind up with a quarter inch bigger frame. So you're going to wind up with a twelve and a quarter inch frame outside dimension. I've already taken the time to um, take off the mill scale and even bevel back um, the ends here. Uh, I've even done it over here before I bend my other notches. And that's going to save myself um, you know, a lot of heartache later on. When I'm welding, I'll get a nicer weld. So do some prep work beforehand, and you'll um, you'll be happy for it. So uh, let's go around here to the notcher, and we'll lay out our notch. So basically, you want a good view of the inside of this notcher. And um, basically, what you're going to see inside here. Let me fish my angle iron in. We'll bring the notcher up like so. You're going to want to see inside here, um, and I'm going to basically give you a better view with some light here. Um, so inside this frame here, you're going to see uh, an arrow, and so that arrow right there, you want to line up with the, uh, the layout line on your material, and that corresponds to the point of the notcher. And then the next thing you want to do is tighten this down this knob all the way in. That basically, uh, while this, this notcher is in the upward position, so have the notcher up all the way, and then have this lined up on your line, your arrow on your line, and then you're going to tighten this uh, all the way. Once you got that set, that's going to allow you to make sure that your notch is at the full depth. If you don't have a notch that is at the full depth uh, of the machine, you're not going to be able to bend that or close that all the way out to 90. So basically if that notch is too shallow, uh, then you're going to wind up not being able to close it all the way up. So you can see over here from this angle, maybe a little better, uh, that as I bring this notcher down, I'm basically hitting that wall. Because otherwise the, the roll inside this angle iron is going to make it so that that notch um, doesn't uh, happen uh, all the way to that back wall. So it's really critical that you get that notch all the way over there. So bear with me while I crank this part down. I'm tethered to the camera, um, so I'll give you a wide enough shot um, and use the extension bar to finish uh, making your notch. And you can position this guy uh, by lifting him up and rotating him around if you don't have as much clearance around an object, um, which at the moment cameras in my way, so let's make sure that we notch this all the way around. So once you get your notches cut out, you can raise up this notcher and free your part by undoing that back piece there, all the way up, and that frees your part. So let's get a good view of the bender now. So the bending operation goes fairly quickly, um, and basically all you've got here is a clamp. Uh, you're going to want to put your part in the clamp, and it's important that you line up 
your notch, give be a good view of this, you line up your notch with this surface here of, um, you know, the point of the notch should be lined up with that surface here. So that view in the camera would be something like that to make sure that I'm lined up nice and true there. And then also make sure that you're flat on this anvil here. You don't want him rocking around all funny on you. This guy is the bender arm. And uh, once again, the camera is in the way. So I'm gonna slide him to a wider shot and do some of these bends. And uh, with all going well, you should see a frame form pretty quickly. Um, so we just slide this little bender in and then give it a tug and that'll close up your notch. And then we can um, open up the bender, slide into our next position here. Again, lining up on that particular corner of the clamp there. Give it another bend. Swing it out of the way. Lost my extension arm there. Having a full range of motion when you're tethered to a camera is always a little awkward. So here's our next bend, and then we'll close it up with the next one still. And with that, you have a pretty good frame. So that there gives you uh, the basic angle iron uh, frame. So this uh, information on the front of the machine here is super helpful. Uh, you're gonna wanna take a look at it and it is going to tell you all the information you need to know in terms of making an inside uh, dimension frame or an outside dimension frame and uh, and that'll really help you out but you want to make sure that you have um, you know the material laid out and cut properly